it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about powers of negative numbers. So we're going to be doing some raising negative numbers to a power and seeing what happens. And also just looking at what happens when we multiply negative numbers and positive numbers together. Are there any tips or tricks we can use to make our life easier? Because you know I'm all about the tips and the tricks, right? Okay, take a look at this. So we've got some multiplication to do. We've got some positives. We've got some negatives. So here is the tip I'm going to give you. First thing you have to do is count the number of negatives that you are multiplying. If we come out to an even number of negatives, that means that your answer, I should say not equals, but your answer is going to be positive. If we count the number of negatives and we find that that number is odd, then your answer is going to be negative. Okay, let's apply that to this problem, and then we'll check it just to make sure our tip and trick work. Okay, how many negatives do we have? We've got one right here and one right here. So that means we've got two, which is an even number. So our answer is going to be positive. Let's check it. Two times a negative three is a negative six. Negative six times a positive four is a negative 24. Negative 24 times a negative 2 is going to be a positive 48. Boom, our answer is positive. Okay, so let's try adding one more number to this little train that we've got here. And do, do, do. let's make it times a negative 1. So now, how many negatives do we have in our answer or in our problem? We have three. That tells us that that's an odd number and our answer is going to be negative. Well, let's try it again. Three times, or two times a negative three is a negative six. Negative six times a four is a negative 24. Negative 24 times a negative two is a positive 48. Positive 48 times a negative one is a negative 48. Yep, it works. So your job here is to add up the number of negatives first, determine if your answer is going to be positive or negative, and then at that point you can just add up all of the numbers, excuse me, not add, multiply. Multiply your numbers and don't worry about the signs because you already figured them out. Let's try putting that tip in action. Let's count up our number of negatives. So here we have only one negative. That means our answer is going to be negative. So we can just write it down. And now we can just do our multiplication. Four times two is eight. Eight times one is eight. Eight times two is 16. And that is your answer. How can we use the same thinking with exponents? Here we have a negative two raised to the third power. Well, what does that actually mean? You might remember that an exponent means take your negative two and multiply it times itself three times. So negative two times negative two times a negative two. Well, from what we just learned, we're going to count up our negatives. One, two, three. That is an odd number. It means that our answer is going to be a negative number. And now we can just do our math. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Negative eight is our answer. Let's try it with these two problems. We have a negative two raised to the fifth power. Five is an odd number. Our answer will be negative. And now we can just raise two to the fifth power. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. So negative 32 will be our answer. And this one, our exponent is a 2, it's even, so our answer is going to be positive. So negative 5 times negative 5 would be 25, but we know we can just do the 5 times 5 since we've already handled whether it's going to be positive or negative. 25 is our answer. Okay, it's really that simple, right? Not too bad. So just remember, odd equals negative, even equals positive. That's it for me today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.